Let's get you guys welcome back to my channel. I really enjoy these kind of like off-the-cuff videos just kind of like chill vibes I've been like on social media quite a bit as I usually am and I feel like people Especially in this generation have this like insane amount of pressure That makes them feel like for whatever reason they are behind in their life Whether you are in your 20s, maybe you're in your 30s, maybe you're older. There's always this like pressure to feel like you should be doing more you should have more and i think that is very much due to society making us purposely making us feel inadequate within ourselves but i feel like in this day and age with social media it makes that pressure almost even worse you're constantly seeing people who are doing things who are achieving things who are whatever leveling up in life because you're seeing someone's highlight reel on social media and so you feel naturally somewhat inadequate within yourself and I know I just really want to talk in this video about how if you buy into this illusion that you need to be doing certain things, that you need to have a certain amount of money, that you need to be, I don't know, have a family and be married and settle down by a certain age, you end up actually making life a lot less enjoyable for yourself. And I say this all the time on my channel, when you're not enjoying life, when you're not having fun, when you're causing yourself this kind of stress and putting this pressure on yourself to, again, do things by a certain timeline or whatever, you end up literally causing more, more, more obstacles in your external reality because your external reality is a direct reflection of what's going on on the inside with you and so the 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 vibration in which the frequency in which you are approaching life your day-to-day -day, you know as you're working towards your goals as you're dating everything the the frequency that you approach these things with have a direct reflection on the outcome of them. So for example, if you feel like as a woman, you need to be settled down and married by 27 years old, and that's the timeline that you've always had in your head, because for whatever reason you feel like if you're over 27 and you're not married, that something is wrong with you, you're gonna approach dating from a desperate perspective, from like a desperate frequency. You're gonna feel like you need someone. So the people that you meet, when you start dating, you're gonna be approaching them with this desperate energy and the people that you meet are gonna feel that. And so what happens is dating is gonna become less enjoyable for you because you're putting this pressure on not only yourself, but the, the person or the people that you're meeting in the process. And so, I think it's really important that we take time, as, again, especially if you're the kind of person who's on social media quite a bit like I am, we have to step away, we have to take time and we have to understand that this whole idea that you could be behind in life is an illusion. It's not real. You get to make the rules of your own life. You get to decide what works best for you. And oftentimes the timeline that you're placing on yourself is not even within your divine plan. Like the universe, I believe at least, the universe has a plan for you. Everything that's happening is happening the way it's supposed to be. If you're living your life for yourself and you're really following your inner guidance system, you may find that the timeline that you maybe had for yourself in your head, it doesn't actually match up with the the divine plan that the universe has set out for you. I believe that we all have a purpose here on this planet and I don't think that we are supposed to figure out what that purpose is, excel at that purpose and win at, you know, doing whatever it is that we're supposed to be doing by the age of 25. Like that doesn't make sense. Life would not be fun if you had everything figured out, if you had all the money, if you had the perfect, you know, soulmate partner. If you had everything figured out by age 25, even age 30, there would be no point in life. Like you wouldn't have anything else to be excited to wake up every single day and live for. This pressure that you feel to accomplish certain things, have certain things by a certain age or whatever is coming from society. It's coming from external forces. It's, it's coming from really a lot of corporations doing a really good job at making you feel inadequate about yourself. Corporations, society makes money off of you feeling inadequate. When we feel insecure about ourselves, about our looks, about where we're at financially, about where we're at romantically, when we feel inadequate, we're more likely to spend money. If we buy this makeup, maybe we will love ourselves more. If we buy these clothes, maybe we'll then feel a little bit more, you know, I don't know, beautiful or whatever. If I spend money on, 
you know, maybe it's if you're a man, spending money on a section when you go out to a club is gonna make girls want you more. There's always something you can be spending your time, your energy, and your money on to feel more good about yourself. And I'm telling you right now, as long as you continue living your life that way, you will never feel satisfied. You will never feel happy with yourself because there's always going to be something new to be chasing. Even the richest people in the world don't feel satisfied with themselves and that's why they want more society teaches you that you are not enough and when you live when you live your life believing that subconsciously which a lot of us do you will always be chasing more you will always be wanting more most of us want freedom over our time and our energy and so if you really want to free yourself from this matrix this system if you really actually want to be free you first have to unlearn this conditioning that again makes you feel inadequate because if you continue falling for that trap you're going to continue wasting your time and your money on things that you don't need so instead of investing in yourself instead of investing in a business you're spending money on sections and bottles and you know chanel bags that really you're maybe even going into debt to afford i'm not saying that to be shady i'm just saying that like especially in our generation i think that we we have to let go of that need to prove ourselves to other people, to society, because really all we're doing at the end of the day is wasting our own time, energy, and money. So especially when you're thinking about how you're spending your money, right? Money is a form of energy. I have a whole video on my channel about, you know, for me, the best money that I ever spent was investing in myself and my channel and my business. I really encourage you to look into some ways that you can do this. You can invest in stocks, you can invest in real estate. I know investing in real estate can seem really crazy and expensive and difficult but you don't have to even buy a whole property like there's platforms out there that make it really easy for you to invest into real estate with very little money like arrive for example shout out to arrive for sponsoring today's video if you guys have never heard of them they are a real estate crowdfunding platform that makes it really easy to invest in real estate with as little as a hundred dollars so they go and they handpick properties they handle everything from the management of the property to finding the tenant all the logistics they handle it for you they have all the information about the properties on the website and you can just go in and again invest your money and start making passive income from crowdfunding in real estate. And they also have a learning section on their website. So if you just wanna learn more about investing in real estate, I just highly recommend you at least check that out because for me, that's one thing that I've been really getting into recently is like looking into again, how can I make my money multiply? How can I invest in myself? And when you think about it, if you're spending $100 on investing in real estate versus spending $100 on a new bag, like that's actually going to benefit you and when you time and energy in the long run so that's what i want to say i'll link i'll leave a link to arrive down below if you guys want to check them out i recommend you you just like look into it because it's a really great way to make some passive income but yeah investing in your in yourself is one thing that i think a lot of us especially in this generation you have to recognize that before you worry about looking cool and again looking and appearing to be free really really focus your time your energy and your money on actually making yourself free from the system if you have a creative you know way of expressing yourself invest in that not just with your money but with your time and your energy and i promise you as you start doing that more and more and as you start as you stop seeking fulfillment and validation from the external world you will start naturally falling into your own divine timeline and plan and the universe will make sure that you're taken care of because you're putting your you're, you're focusing your energy on yourself you're not moving from a place of desperation you're not moving from a place of oh i need to be doing this by this age by by 30 i need to be a millionaire like you're, you're not doing that you're just enjoying life and as you enjoy life money will come to you because again you realize that money is a it's a resource it's a form of energy once you believe that money is is comes to you with ease it starts actually happening capitalism does an amazing job of making us feel like there's always more we should be doing, more we, we, you know, we should be having, that we should be going out and trying to get. And when you start recognizing that that is an illusion and that you are actually free and you get to, again, make the rules of your own reality, when you start really truly realizing that, unlearning these things, observing in your day-to-day -day life, what areas of your life you feel this external pressure weighing down on you, again, you free yourself of that 
resistance. You free yourself from those limiting, those negative core beliefs that a lot of us have within us. And you start being able to live a life where in which you are truly free mentally. In this present moment, I really encourage you to look around you and recognize, like literally look around your room right now, look around wherever you're at, maybe you're at a coffee shop, I don't know. Look around and recognize that everything is as it should be. Everything is perfect. You're working a job that you maybe don't really enjoy so much. Maybe you have people in your life that you're not really vibing with, whatever, but it's all good. Even if your physical environment around you is not what you want long term that's okay when you're being present in that and you're enjoying this journey this part of the journey where you're going to end up one year two year five ten years from now you're going to be so grateful when you look back at where you are right now even if your external reality does not look the way you want you get to decide how much inner peace you have within yourself that's what you have power over you have power over your mentality and the way that you look at things i know it's so much easier said than done sometimes if you're having to work multiple jobs and you know you have to take care of a family like you know that it's not always that easy um i don't even fully know what that feels like like i am you know i'm at a place in my life where i'm taken care of i'm fine so i know that me speaking on this can seem maybe even triggering to some, but I just, I really want you to recognize that you truly have power over your inner world. And I think the, a huge thing about this matrix that we live in is it makes a lot of us feel powerless and it makes a lot of us feel like inadequate. And that feeling that we have within us oftentimes, again, influences our external reality. So take control over the way in which you are seeing yourself love yourself like really truly the key to all of this sorry that my voice is crying it's not really crazy um really truly the the key to all of this is to fall in love with yourself love yourself enough to know that you are exactly where you need to be you are doing amazing you're doing an amazing job you've worked so hard your entire life most of us have there's nothing else that you have to do to prove your worth to this world even if you're 68 right now and you're not happy with where you are in life you can change things you can decide tomorrow to change your reality shifting realities is so real i can talk about that in a different video um and i have some videos i'll link some videos down below where i've kind of touched on that but you can shift your reality truly like in seconds it's all just a choice it's a, it's a choice over your inner world I promise you once you start taking more control over your inner world once you start recognizing that your external world will start improving truly so yeah, hopefully this was helpful, you guys. I know this is kind of long and rambly and chit chatty, but I kind of like these videos a little bit more even than like my really like formal ones. So yeah, I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys are having an amazing week. I hope you know that you are loved and that you are doing an amazing job no matter where you are in life. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys for being here and for being on this journey with me. And yeah, I hope you guys are doing well and I will see you guys in the next one.